Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a theme on your iPod using iPod Wizard. Alright, first open up Mozilla Firefox. Okay, and go to um, get iPod get iPod Wizard dot com. Enter and then click download in the list and then right here it says download links and latest version iPod Wizard V1.3 download that click it and open I mean, you need um, Mozilla Firefox because if you don't have Mozilla Firefox then it won't open this web page it'll say it can't open it I right, and then this, once you click on get iPod Wizard and latest version this will come up okay you could exit out of that and, and minimize your web page and this will come up and you make a new folder just put new folder and name it whatever you want to I'm gonna put IPW for iPod wizard and you highlight all this stuff and you drag it into the folder okay and then you could close the the WinRAR now you open this folder and then your iPod wizard will be right here it's the little wizard hat but you probably already knew that but it's the wizard hat just double click it close the tip of the day you can close your folder now and this is iPod wizard okay and now first you need to get a firmware so open up your web browser and go to um iPod what is it iPod yeah iPod stuff dot org and then enter and then get right here iPod video it says perfect background hack download that or if you have a nano go down and it says nano and then no it'll say perfect background hack see but I have a video studio but it's the same same stuff same rules I I click on it to download it and it takes me to a new page. You go about one third of the page down, and it'll be it'll say download the firmware here, and it'll have four links that are green. If you have a five generation, fifth generation video, you download that one, or the 5.5 generation video, download that one, and download a media fire alternate. Don't download the new firmware update, because I don't I don't know how to use that one. But if you want to, I don't know. All right, and then I'm gonna click that one the five generation media alternate and then click open and then close this and then just let it open and we'll minimize your web browser I you can click and drag this folder to your desktop okay and now you have the firmware now open iPod wizard and right here under edit mode click firmware file and put open firmware and go to wherever you placed your firmware I placed mine on the desktop it's the easiest to find you just double click it and the one that says 5 generation ultimate background hack v1.2.1 you open that and then it'll start scanning and loading everything and now this is um this is your firmware this is what your iPod stuff is gonna be now unless you wanna load a new theme see and this is gonna be your background it's 138 and I think for the nano it's 140 I'm not sure but 138 is your background it shows the picture of your background but if you want a new background you can load bitmap and load a picture from your pictures or you can load a theme which loads everything if you want a theme this is how you do it you minimize that you go to your web browser and go to ipodwizard.com I mean dot net dot net my bad my bad ipodwizard.net go, go to forum it's at the top and scroll down to where it says modding and there's one that says themes click on the type of ipod you have right here it says ipod fit generation nano or whatever kind you have, I'm gonna pick fifth generation. Fifth generation is that one. I touch and point five generation. Has all those in this files. All right, see how there's these themes. I right, don't download the ones that say classic, cause it won't work. 
and don't download the iPod Touch themes. Only some iPod Touch themes work, but there's no use of risking it. But you can't mess up your iPod by doing this. It's like impossible to mess it up. Alright, I'm just gonna get this one corrupted theme because that's five stars, which means it's obviously good. And this is what it's gonna look like right here. And you click the download file right below it. I'm gonna open it and you can exit out of that minimize your folder and wait for it to come up okay and then there it is you click and drag the folder to your desktop and just let it load because that's to load all the pictures that are in your in the file okay it doesn't take that long you just you just wait for it to finish and then yeah <sighs> and then okay now you could exit out of the winwar thing and now you have it right here now don't mess with it okay oh wait, hold on open it and if there's um check if all your, the files are here if there's a folder in here delete the folder and if there's example pictures down here delete the example pictures but usually there's not all right you open up ipod wizard and put load all okay and you scroll down to where it says corrupted or whatever the name of your theme is and put okay and it starts loading all the pictures and see how this is the background right now on my ipod this is going to be in the background you let it load and once it loads it will show me a new picture this is going to be the new picture for my ipod okay and now all i have to do now is write to ipod but my ipod isn't in here right now and plus i like my theme so i'm not going to do that but once you write it to your ipod just write it and then click OK and it'll write and then eject your iPod and then you'll have the theme and that's how you put a theme on your iPod.